Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is um, Eid vlog. Well, I'm not actually going out. I'm staying home. This is the first day of Eid after Ramadan Kareem. And this is a very, very, very light makeup for you to do when you're at home. When people are visiting you at home, well, I have guests coming over all day. And this is my look for today. Ta-da! So, if you want to know how I got this look, then please keep watching and give my video a like. And if you are new here, please subscribe. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is prep our skin and a good makeup means a good skincare. So, let's get started with the skincare first so we can get a nice makeup look. So, first I'm going to start with the moisturizer. I'm using my Dr. Davy Spot Fading Essence Brightening Moisturizer. This moisturizer is very good for a bright skin. And since I have higher pigmentation, it helps my higher pigmentation as well. So let's see. I'm gonna use a little tiny drops. I was actually going for hard. But then. The thing to return is that you can never blend it out. Just have to pat it down until. It's absorbed by your skin. You have to wait until it gets fully absorbed. Other that, we'll apply the moisturizer. Okay, my serum is all dried up now. I'm gonna be using my ultimate very moisturizer, which is, as you all know, the Greater Vera Gel. The Vera Gel is very nice. You know, I actually use this gel on my hair as well. Guessing this off is okay. So I took a little bit. I'm gonna put it on my skin. So putting the over a gel gives you a brightening skin just right at the moment. It's better to use the liver gel than any other moisturizer there might be. There are no toxins in it. The last part of all skincare is the sunscreen. Well, it's daytime outside, and you should obviously use the sunscreen. I'm using the Secret Tone Up sunscreen, it's the Korean sunscreen which I use all the time. This sunscreen is really nice. I'm going for hearts today, but none of these are coming as great hearts. And what's this? You really just look at this. God. Yeah, I look like a joker right now. Let's burn out the sunscreen now. This sunscreen is so good, you can literally pop the defenses of a hair and of a hair. Looks like a applied a foundation or something. Our forehead gets the most burned outside if we don't use the sunscreen. I didn't know that until I read this online article about which parts of your body gets burned first in the sun. So I'm very conscious about my forehead right now. Okay, so the skincare is done. Now let's just get onto that with the makeup which I'm waiting for a very long time. First thing of makeup, we are going to start with a face primer. And as my primer, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Glow Filter in the shade 3 Fair or 3 Medium. I bought it off Space NK. Let's take a tiny amount. Well, I got the travel size. So now I'm going to be taking a lot. Tiny, tiny bits of the partner. Like this. That's it. It's blend of blend. It's the glow filter. And I feel like whenever I'm putting this on, my skin is brightening up. Like 
I want to blend it. You can see it's going. To color correcting this gray area of my mouth, it haunts me down. Actually. I'm going to blend it. Okay, so now we are going for a foundation. The foundation I'm using Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I'm so in love with this foundation. I was thinking of getting this for a very, very, very long time. But I just got it a few days back from Sephora. It's from Malaysia actually. So this is the travel size and it looks super cute. Once to so reuse a little bit of foundation. I'm using a little bit because the Charlotte Blue foundations are really pigmented. I'm not gonna be using a lot. I'm gonna mix this foundation with another foundation that I use all the time, which is my Wet and Wild Dewy Luminex Foundation. Already gave foundation for the Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm using my all time foundation, which is the Wet and Wild Golden Beige Dewy Luminex Foundation. This foundation gives me a glow. I'm sure I love this one. But I'm gonna be using this. One foundation for the rest of my life. But when I first started my YouTube channel last year or the year before, I guess, not quite sure. The foundation has been my friend always. So now we're gonna blend it out. So the foundation is all blended out, and as you can see, the foundation gives me the glow. But Charlotte Tilbury couldn't. I'm not saying that one was bad. I love the Charlotte Tilbury one as well. But this foundation is my best friend. Now oh, it's time for concealer. And as my concealer, I'm using this Eye Magic in the shade Ivory. I know some of you might be thinking that Ivory is too light for me. But I really tried all the other fair shades. And this was the one which goes correctly with my skin. I'm gonna be using a tiny concealer over here because I already used my color corrector. I'm going to do this side because I have dark spots. Well, I think so. Now I'm just gonna run it all out and show you guys in a bit. Okay, so the concealer is all done. Now I'm going to be for the blush, the eyeshadow and everything. So I wore a violet color dress and I'm going to be using purple shades for my eyes. And to get the most of it, I'm going to be using an eye primer so it looks really pigmented. A small bit of the eye primer. I'm going to be blending it from over my eyelids like this. side as well I don't really like the idea of time lapse or doing eye makeup because with the eye makeup you need to be fully present to see what I'm doing with my eyes and yes I love using my hands for my eyes I feel like I get a better coverage using my hands rather than eyeshadow brushes using my technique setting spray so that my foundation concealer and the eye primer is all in place eyes are all prepped now i'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette which i've been waiting to use for so 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 long this is the flower nose just launched collection of 
the angel palette. This is their shadow. Let me open it so you can see the insides of it. This is by far the prettiest eyeshadow palette I have ever used. First, I'm going to be using this light violet color. Just a small portion. Gonna rub it on my eyes like this. Give myself that glowy violet eye look. I'm also gonna be using my Beauty Glazed Book Eyeshadow Palette in this palette shade, the violet one. I'm gonna be using this color just to brighten up my eye. At first I'm using the Gold Coast, which looks like this. I'm gonna be going for a little bit of smoky eye. Not full smoky eyes because, well, I'm not going out. But a tiny smoky eye. Like this. Now, finally, going for this one. This is the Spinel. Let me see how it turns out to be. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous! Gonna have to sift all the rest of my glittery under the eyes using my Revolution highlight. Well, this one is also violet in color, so I'm gonna be using this just a small part. I'm gonna be blending it out like this. That's it. I'm gonna be repeating this whole method onto this eye. Let me do that and I'm gonna be seeing you guys in a few minutes. So my eyeshadow is all done. I'm gonna be rubbing off the excess glitter that has fallen into my cheeks. Well, I'm not fully done with my eyes yet. So I'm gonna be using my She Glam Highlighter in the shade Terracotta. All my eyes. No. Just give it a little bit here and a little bit over here. See, it's glowing. Now it's time for using my eyeliner. I'm thinking of going for a winged eyeliner, but I never made a perfect wing. So I'm gonna try this time a little bit. Okay. I think I did a pretty good job. So I think I did a really good job with this shadow. Now it's time for mascara. I'm using my Cemetery Beauty Mascara. Oh, this matches with my dress and my shadow. This is so pretty. I'll be applying lashes on my eyelash. 
I'm going to run that on this car on mine. And the trick, which I do, it's my own trick. I didn't go for a brow gel or a brow liner. Instead, I just used the mascara to darken the edges of my eyelashes and eyeshadow. So I'm going to be applying eyelashes now. Let's see which one suits me better. I guess the third one. Yes, the third one. So it comes with a magnetic eyeliner. You just have to apply this eyeliner over your real eyeliner which you used. Well, changes of fan, I couldn't find the clue for my eyelash and I'm very very sad about that so I'm just gonna go for my lipstick but before that I'm gonna be doing the under eyes I'll be using this Charlotte Tilbury compact powder this is the mini ratio one I'm gonna be using it under my eye yeah I got this free It's all done now for my lips. For my lipstick, I'm using my NARS in the shade of Con Red Satin. Just look at this color, it's so pretty. So I'll be using a mixture of two. The first one is of NARS. Actually, I'm gonna be going for a mixture of three. So I used the NARS at first. Now I'm gonna use my Milani Devotion. Well, this red surpasses all the other reds. Just a little. So now the last lipstick that I'll be using is Beauty Glazed in the shade 107 Tarot Rose. It's a little bit of pink in color. Now I will be using my Sephora's lip gloss. I'm sorry, I kept all my makeup over here and I can't reach it now. So I'm using my Sephora lip gloss. This used to be clear, but well now it's red. It still gives the clear shade. Oh, it's actually not a lip gloss. It's a lip plumper. Well, I have smile lines again. For the last part, I'm using my Revolution palette for my blush. And I'm using this pink shade. I don't know the name of it. Just calling it the pink shade. 
but I'm taking a lot, but I'll be blending it out later. Just like this. Yes, it took a lot. I love having a natural pink kind of look. And I'm blending it, blend, blend, blend. And then blend a little bit more. I'm really missing some eyelashes right now. I'll put them back when I get the glue. So the glue actually dried that came in with their lashes. Hence I'm not being able to wear it. I'm just gonna blend the whole makeup once again. Okay, so the makeup is all done. Now I'm gonna be using makeup setting spray again so that all this makeup stays in place. Oh this is the technique setting spray thing I mentioned it previously but to the good in. Let it dry for about one minute. Because if not, then you'll have a burning eye like I am having one right now. Now I have to do something with my hair. 